my personal protection of choice is simple, mobile, and effective bear pepper spray. And most importantly, it's never out of reach. This is not a spot that the bears are used to people being. So I'm gonna go a little slower, I'm gonna pay attention. I'm actually gonna take this off because if something happens, it's gonna happen pretty quick. And I've had to take the safety off a few times. Now this is a little bit too close for comfort. It's no wonder I have a lot of respect for Mark Metheny, who, after his attack, developed a bear pepper spray that's been proven many times against grizzlies. Bear spray really works on the mucous membranes and it works on their nose mainly. You take away a bear's keen sense of smell, now you've got one worried wild animal. They rely upon that, that's their eyes. I've read that grizzlies have an incredible sense of smell but I never truly understood this fact until I visited Dr. Heiko Jansen's brain lab at Washington State University. This is uh, our first brain specimen, a human brain. Here's, for comparison, a Brutus brain, a grizzly brain, uh, taken from a Kodiak bear, and uh, obviously very different from the human brain, but equally impressive in terms of its size and weight. A bigger brain is not necessarily a better brain brains are suited for different tasks. And the task that a grizzly bear is suited for is finding food. Compared to the human brain, where it's this teeny tiny structure here that's doing all of that sense of smell, and compare that to a grizzly bear, this entire structure here is olfactory or devoted to the sense of smell. When you compare the part of the brain that's responsible for the sense of smell, the grizzly bears is giant compared to all of these other mammals. Now imagine a grizzly with a sense of smell seven times stronger than a bloodhound hitting a wall of pepper. The effect is an instant change of behavior. And this, over time, may be great news for humans and bears. <laughs>